Every step of this story is played out on social media, including now, remembering those who we lost. Spending time with you, I realize God is in my love. Camp Coleman, a Jewish summer camp in North Georgia, just wrapped up a virtual memorial for 14-year-old Alyssa Aladef, one of their former campers. Thousands of people from around the world came together on the camp's Facebook page. Shelly sending love, prayers, and a commitment to help. Miriam, may we each find the strength to heal. Andy Parati spoke with Tally Cohn, a camp buddy of Alyssa's. Oh my gosh, hi Alyssa. Tally Cohen reads a text to a friend she'll never receive a reply from again. I just wanted to make sure you and all of your friends are okay. The 15-year-old Cobb County teen is talking about her friend Alyssa Ahodef. The two met last year during a three-week Jewish summer camp in Cleveland, Georgia. I would say I was like one of her first and like closest friends at camp. She always put a smile on my face. Both were incoming high school freshmen. They instantly clicked. It's just nice to have someone so close, like especially at camp when we're doing all these super fun activities, like I get to share that with them. After camp, they stayed in touch and were excited to see each other again this summer until <laughs> yesterday afternoon when gunfire erupted at Stoneman Douglas High School where Aladuff lived in Parkland, Florida. That was like when I got really scared. Later that evening, Cohen learned Aladuff was one of 17 shot by a gunman. She prayed that night that Aladif would make it. When she woke up, she learned her friend did not. Her mom had posted something on Facebook this morning, like talking about how she lost her daughter. What was it like reading that? Um, it was just like scary news, kind of eye-opening because she said that like she had just sent her daughter to school like any normal day and like her daughter never came back home. Two young girls hoping for a lasting friendship that never had a chance to see what it could have been. She just like went to school like any normal day and she like never came home. Cohen says another friend from camp was at the school during the shooting. Luckily, he survived. Meanwhile, Alyssa's mother was on network news earlier today pleading for more security in schools and gun reform. Back to you, Vinny. All right, thanks, Andy.